Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we will learn about 15 reasons why highly intelligent people prefer to be alone. Now let's begin. Number 1. The 1% For highly intelligent people, many social situations are surprisingly isolating. They socialize and meet new people, just like anybody else, but they rarely encounter others who share their extraordinary intellect. Let's say one out of every 100 people is considered highly intelligent. If you met any one of those 100 people, what are the odds you would encounter the one person who thinks like you? This is a dilemma that highly intelligent people face every time they socialize with anyone. It's easy for the average person to meet someone who shares their intellect, but it's very uncommon for highly intelligent people to meet their match. They rarely come across individuals who truly understand them, so it's no surprise that smart people prefer to be alone. Number 2. Erratic Routines Some of the most brilliant people keep the most unpredictable schedules. They work at all hours of the night and sleep late into the day. Their jobs are unusual, their hobbies are out of the ordinary. As a result, many highly intelligent people keep schedules that don't align with the rest of the world. Some are night owls, some are early birds. In either case, most brilliant people live according to a schedule that only they understand. Number 3. The Pickiest Friends Smart people are very picky about whom they spend their time with. This is especially true of introverted intellectuals. By default, they may judge and criticize the people they meet. They look for problems in everyone, and they usually find something to complain about. That's the downside of being clever and perceptive. A highly intelligent person can quickly and easily imagine a dozen reasons why any person is not a good fit. Most of the time, their pickiness is a form of self-defense. Intelligent people are accustomed to knowing everything, so they may use their brain power to avoid social risks and vulnerability. In other words, highly intelligent people prefer to be alone because they know how painful a bad friendship or relationship can be. Number 4. Intellectual Stimulation Many brilliant people prefer to be alone because they find it more fulfilling to converse with themselves. After all, who understands you better than you? For many highly intelligent people, self-talk is not only therapeutic but also intellectually stimulating. It may look and sound strange to the average person, but this is surprisingly common among the world's brightest people. They talk to themselves almost every day. Why? Because they rarely encounter other people who engage them on a similar intellectual level. Number 5. The Odd Man Out Many people socialize because they're afraid to be the odd man out. They don't like missing things that other people get to experience. They feel jealous when they see friends and even strangers living more exciting or fulfilling lives. But highly intelligent individuals don't mind standing on the sidelines. They don't envy friends or strangers who wish they were living someone else's life. In other words, a highly intelligent person will happily be the odd man out because their interests often lie elsewhere. Number 6. Extra Weight Around the world, people rely on teamwork and cooperation to solve problems. It may require a group of like-minded people to tackle a single task, but highly intelligent people don't require the same level of social support. That doesn't mean highly intelligent people aren't team players. In challenging high-level environments, intellectuals flourish by cooperating with people of similar intelligence. But when it comes to low-level problems, the most intelligent people would rather work alone. When a basic problem must be solved, the most competent people find a quick and efficient solution without asking for help. In group projects and team environments, many intelligent people feel like their team members are slowing them down. In other words, most people don't see problems as clearly as they do, so it's no surprise that most intelligent people prefer to work alone. Number 7. Frivolous Interactions Socializing has many advantages for many people. For some, socializing is a form of entertainment, relaxation, or social connectivity. It can lead to friendships, business connections, and romantic relationships. But most of the time, socializing is not the most productive thing you do. Highly intellectual people try to be productive as often as possible. They don't like to waste their time, so they don't leave much room in their lives for frivolous social interactions. The smartest people prefer solitude because they're most productive when left to their own devices. 
Number 8. Patterns of Strangeness It's safe to say that only a tiny percentage of people in the world qualify as highly intelligent people. Similarly, only a tiny percentage of people enjoy solitude more than socializing. Both qualities are uncommon in the greater population, so it makes sense that the two occur so frequently together. Intelligent people are more likely to have uncommon social preferences when compared to someone of average intelligence. For example, the smartest people may not crave or idolize social relationships as much as the average person. It's not because they're antisocial or socially awkward. They don't benefit from social connections in the same way as most people. Everyone knows brilliant people are outliers for their IQs. But the same is true of their sociability. You and I might think their social habits are out of the ordinary, but why would the world's most intelligent people think or act any other way? Number 9. Small Social Circles Intelligent people may seem shy or introverted, but their antisocial tendencies may stem from a greater appreciation of their friendships and relationships. In many cases, the most intelligent people don't want to create more connections because their social needs are satisfied by the few strong relationships they regularly maintain. Many intelligent people are skilled at creating deep personal connections. They would much rather bond closely with one person than establish shallow relationships with many people. That's why most intellectuals keep very small groups of friends. They don't bother expanding their social circles because the friends they have are all the friends they need. Number 10. Unusual Expectations The most intelligent people see the world in an unusual way. Whether they are hyper-logical or profoundly artistic, their perspectives don't always align with normal social expectations. As a result, many people find highly intelligent individuals to be strange or difficult to understand. But highly intelligent people feel the same way about everybody else. In fact, many of the smartest people crave solitude because other people's habits and decisions tend to drive them crazy. Number 11. Everyday Misunderstandings How would you feel if everyone you met had trouble understanding you? That's how most of the smartest people feel every day. They may have above-average IQs, but highly intelligent people aren't always the best communicators, especially when talking to people who don't share their intellectual interests. It's common, for example, for intelligent people to think quickly, often skipping a few steps ahead in the conversation. They assume that other people can keep up with what they're saying, but people are often confused and unsure what to say. When you struggle to communicate with everyone you meet, spending time alone does not sound like such a bad option. Number 12. Solitary Stimulation Intelligent people spend most of their time alone because many of their favorite activities don't require more than one person. For example, intelligent people see value in many private, intellectual, and creative activities like reading and writing. They enjoy getting lost in a good story, learning about a new subject, and challenging their minds to think and solve problems. These are all solitary activities which bring intelligent people a kind of stimulation that's hard to find in many social settings. Highly intelligent people like to be alone, but they don't do it on purpose. They simply can't enjoy their favorite hobbies any other way. Number 13. Tedious Explanations Working with others can be challenging, especially when people don't see things the way you do. Instead of solving new problems, highly intelligent people spend much of their time explaining their decisions to their teammates and co-workers. By the time they've adequately explained the problem, they've lost their momentum and wasted valuable time. Working alone allows the most intelligent people to accelerate ahead of the competition. They can make quick decisions and produce a better final product because they don't have to justify every move they make. Number 14. Real Social Value Some people rely on the opinions of others to gain confidence or self-esteem, but intelligent people gather more meaning from their accomplishments, passions, and intellectual pursuits. To someone with above-average intelligence, achieving something remarkable is far more meaningful than impressing a group of people. So they keep to themselves. They don't need to get out and socialize because it doesn't bring them the same confidence or satisfaction. That doesn't mean intelligent people don't enjoy compliments, good conversations, and emotional connections. But the most meaningful things in their lives have little to do with their social value. Number 15. Pointless Conflicts Highly intelligent people dislike pointless social conflicts. 
They don't want to cause drama in their lives, and they have little patience for the drama of others. Why? Because they see most social conflicts as petty and unnecessary. They don't see the merit in arguing for social gain or squabbling over ranks and titles. Instead, the most brilliant people take a hands-off approach to social conflict. They keep to themselves so that drama never interferes with their real meaningful goals. While others are stirring up disputes and jostling for social status, highly intelligent individuals prefer to be alone. Thank you for watching TopThink and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.